Success is a must. Don't forget to subscribe for videos. Big up Lady K, the new female artist. Lose your love. Oh, oh, oh. Will I indeed I get some girl tonight? Give thanks. So this I want a new music one on one. Music business. A lot of artists don't know the music business. Which the business is 90% business and 10% talent. When I'm growing up I always thinking, I always thinking why does the artist artists always getting robbed? Because artists are always getting robbed. But what I realize in life is that the artists, the artists think they're always being vulnerable. But the business side of the, the music is always there, which the artists don't understand. They don't understand it because it's a different language. They speak a different language, a different tone. And artists, most artists just want to do music. Just to, to do music. And we can't wrong them because they want to do music. See what I say? We can't wrong them because they want to do music. But people, but people don't really understand what music is. So we always see like we as the fans, oh, they always see the artists and feel like say the artist is making a bag of money or the artist is this, the artist is that. But sometimes the artist is not because they have a thing named which lead up to this what I'm going to talk about. They are, they are, they are two copyrights of music. Two copyrights. You have the composition copyright, the person who write the song. And then you have the sound recording the, the sound recording copyright. Okay. That's normally owned by a label. Okay. Uh, between the artist and the label. That's called the master. The master copyright. Okay. The sound the sound record copyright, which is which is the, the artist, which is the artist, the label, and then you have Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange collect those royalty. So if you're an independent artist, you have to sign up with Sound Exchange. So I'm saying it's got, that's what Sound Exchange do. And the other copyright, which was called uh, composition, writing, lyrics. Yeah, writing and lyrics. Which is collected by uh, they call it the performance right organization like CSAC, uh, BMI, uh, ASCAP, and then you have the sub the sub ones them who do like Jimmy in Jamaica we got uh, we got JCAP you know, all over the world we got all over those are the three big ones that collect your 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 the composition royalty or uh, your performance or what they call a performance royalty performance most of the artists don't know that then you got your streaming mechanical royalty there's so much so much royalty out there when you start get played on the radio that's publishing most of the artists write their songs some of them, because it's been going on for a long time. Some of them, uh, some of them, when they the song is registered, whoever write the song, if a youth write a song, just write a song give an artist. Sometimes he don't get any credit on the song because most persons when they they not fear when they doing it. Well, what they could have done is give even the person that write the song even a percentage of the song. Right? feel no way because he wants to publish it. Back to that now as I'm saying publishing. Publishing in itself 
is an artist is an artist what you will call a pension it's a retirement pension you know what I'm saying it's a retirement pension so when an artist don't own nothing in this publishing in his songs he don't write none of his songs or he gonna live later on he gonna live later on every artist got a right He's an artist. It's an art. You got to write. Even if you can't write, you can negotiate. You are singing a song. Negotiate something in the song. For instance, if you're with a record label, sometimes the record label of writers, the record label provide writers and then they write the song and then you sing it okay you didn't write the song but you can negotiate and change something in the song change a couple words in the song so at least 120% or 130% you own in the, in the publishing because that's your money for later that's your money for later that's your retirement money that money means something that's your kids that's your kids later on that's your grandkids you see what I'm saying the music is big it's big money it's big money and the language that it speaks you gotta understand the language you have to be in tune to the language you see I'm a producer I'm, I'm a CEO Triple Bros. Dot Records. Okay, I'm the big brother of Lick I'm a small brother of Flicker Kirk. You so we it's four brothers of us, two blacks, uh, and also Shamrock. We got one sister. That's what it is. So I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is, I came into the music business, and I had to learn. I had to learn fast. But the difference between me and a lot of person is. I'm hungry for knowledge. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry for knowledge that I have sleepless night just to gain the knowledge. And sometimes you are showing some persons what is going on in the music and they take it for granted or they take it like you're a fool. Because the language that you're speaking to them, they don't understand. And they don't in 2020 right now. If you as an artist are looking for information and you can't find your information, you're not supposed to be an artist. Information, we are living in a time of information about anything. You can Google it, you can YouTube it, it's right in front of you. It's not hiding. See you can find whatever you want as an artist. And I'm saying, you as an artist is a brand. You gotta treat it like so, a brand. This is what's going on nowadays in the music. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, like, and share. Bless up, have a good day.